hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome we are kicking off the new year with a bang we have almost twenty three hundred dollars going out on eBay our other platform sales were a little bit slow we've only got one Poshmark one Mercari and two going out onto Etsy but overall a really great weekend and I am going to show you everything right now All right, so eBay was really, really good. I posted over to Instagram and we saw an immediate increase in sales once Lynn started. So Lynn has been answering questions, doing drafts, and that also has made me be out here while I'm training her and I'm putting more time into eBay as well. So last week we did almost $3,000 and we'd only done 9,000 for the month. So a third of it was done in a week and our numbers are going up. So hopefully that will continue to rise. I'm gonna let you guys meet Lynn now. She's gonna come say hi to you guys. Hi everyone, nice to meet you. My name is Lynn. Hopefully I'll be seeing you a little more often. So Lynn, Lynn is gonna be doing live shipping with us today. So if you're in my membership, the 1999 gets you eBay store reviews, live sourcing, and live shipping, which Lynn will be doing with me today. We're doing it on a Tuesday. You're probably seeing this on a Thursday because there was no shipping on Monday. So if you're new and really want to learn more about shipping, you can watch us ship live every other Monday. And so those members will be seeing more of Lynn for sure. So let's go ahead and get started with what sold. And the first one actually just sold a few minutes ago. All right, so up first, these are lime green Rachel Ray. So there is a bottom, they're 10 ounce little individual casseroles. They do have kind of an ombre there. I thought they would sell really fast and they didn't. So I only paid about $5 for these. These took a year to sell. They sold for $27.28, so they're about a $15 profit. I did get a large casserole dish with these and that sold very, very fast, but the individual ones have taken a little bit longer. And I do have smaller of these that actually are little sauce containers that still have yet to sell. Up next is some gloves and Lynn actually just listed these last week. They sold really fast. So these are women's fleece gloves. The brand is REI and these sold for $11.69 in less than a week. So it says they were originally $24.95 on sale for $11.83. We got $11.69 plus the buyer paid shipping. I only paid a dollar for these so they're about an $8 profit after fees. Up next is some firecracker crackers. I've never heard of these. They are actual crackers and they are Christmas ones and they're selling right after Christmas. So these actually sold and were returned because they said the crackers are normally bigger. The funny thing is we had the measuring tape in the photograph with these so they could clearly see the size and they still return them luckily they were unopened and they sold again within a week for $17.53 a box and I only paid a dollar a box so together they're about a $25 profit so that goes to show even with putting a good description which I do know descriptions if you know me but we did show the box with the measuring tape somebody still bought them and returned them because they were the wrong size all right up next is a Chicago Bulls pennant this one did take over two years to sell and it only sold for $6.49 it does have a defect there on the end and we did show that in the photograph you can see it was pinned up to the wall and that's probably what caused that tear this one is only about a four dollar profit but back when i was buying a lot of pennants uh some of them did sell really fast so we were in the profit and these to ship them we just roll them up and put them in a 12 inch mailing tube and they actually still ship first class up next is a license plate so we are a dollar into these this one sold for 16 dollars plus the buyer paid six and shipping so it's about a $13 profit and it sold in about four months 
all right this is a little bit crazy and I wasn't really sure how I was gonna list this so I bought some Starbucks tumblers and we will wipe that off um, I bought some Starbucks tumblers and there were two extra lids in with them so hopefully somebody didn't get cups without lids and these are official Starbucks lids so I had two extras and I was like do I list them together do I list them separate decided to list them separately Lynn just put them up last week and this one sold in under a week for $12 $12 one lid plus they paid six in shipping so $18 on this little lid and the actual straws sell as well so if you see extra Starbucks lids I would pick them up it was a really really fast sale all right up next is something from one of my beauty boxes that I get and that is this little and it has a reflective side so it's really hard to get it in it's called Saturday skin pretty pop I paid $5 for these. That's about how much in the beauty boxes. This one sold for eight and this one's going to be about a $2 profit. But my goal with those is keep the couple of things I like free. I sell the rest to pay for the box. Next is a Homer Laughlin little casserole dish. And I was hoping that this would sell for more. So there's the bottom. So there is the bottom of this. This one actually only sold for $13.63. So one of my big things this year is going to be with bigger breakables like this. I want to get at least $30 to $40. So this is something I would not pick up again. But I didn't pay much. So it's going to be about a $5 or $6 profit. And it did take over a year to sell. So it didn't sell for much. And it took a long time to sell this is another one a bigger breakable a false craft bowl i did get a lot of these though and some of the mixing bowls sold for 40 50 60 dollars so this would be do i decide i want to donate this to someone or do i want to list it at 15 dollars there is the bottom of this one this one took about eight months to sell so it's about an eight or nine dollar profit i paid about three or four um but again probably not something i would pick up again all right up next is a simply southern shirt i got this at the outlets in pigeon forge so this one says do what makes you happy it is an xxl they were only five dollars and 95 cents at the pigeon forge outlet the funny thing is it says not for resale but I believe as long as you buy it, it is yours to do with what you want. Because if I bought this, wore it, and brought it to Goodwill, you found it, you would be able to sell it. So if I'm incorrect, somebody can let me know. But we listed this last week. It sold for $23.39. So it is about a $15 profit, and it sold in under a week. So they do limit how many you can get at the outlet is limited to 12 which is how many I got. I did get all XL and XXL and then Brooke also got 12. So Brooke and I both got 12 and we actually got 12 t-shirts and 12 sweatshirts. I asked them if I was allowed to get 12 each of t-shirts and sweatshirts. They said yes and that was a really good profit. So we picked up a total of 48 new Simply Southern shirts in Pigeon Forge up next is actually a bad buy so i got these harley davidson hubcap covers they sold for 49 i think i paid 35 so they're really not going to be much profit after fees i kind of got in a rush and i didn't want to individually check items from a harley garage sale this was just a couple months ago and it turns out the guy had them priced pretty much at retail i did get 20 percent off but after fees were pretty much going to be a wash on all the harley stuff so these sold really fast lynn just listed them last week but they are basically just getting me my money back at this point so i would say be careful if you're doing bulk buys to make sure that you're not overpaying because in the case of these harley parts i definitely did overpay up next is another license plate this is in iowa from 1980 this one sold for 20 plus the buyer paid shipping so this one's about a 15 dollar profit sold in about five months if you see these are dirty i don't clean them at all they are dusty they are dirty but most people use these for kind of a rugged rustic 
decor item and I've never had a complaint from anybody that they were dirty so I do not take the time because a lot of people like that kind of rugged dirty look to these up next is a flag this is actually in pretty rough shape and we put it as a table runner because it is not exact and we did notate that it had some rips and some stains this one sold for 974 plus the buyer paid six in shipping so it's going to be about a six dollar profit as i paid less than a dollar up next is this nautica jacket really really nice leather jacket and this one actually it has a hood in there and i didn't even notice really cool it has a zipper hood this one i got from the same garage sale i got the harley part but the leather jackets i knew were marked up too high and i did negotiate down on those so this one i only paid 20 and it sold for 52 so it's about a 25 dollar profit and it sold in under two weeks and it is again a nautica up next is a brand I am not familiar with, and that is Helly Hansen. So I found this at the Benz. It actually has really nice Sherpa. It just looked like a nice jacket to me, so I actually only paid about $2. This one sold for $35.09. So remember that brand, Helly Hansen? That is a pretty pretty good sale 35 and about a 27 dollar profit and it sold in under two months up next is a mug that sold really fast i just thrifted this about two weeks ago it is wiley e. coyote and the road runner this one i only paid 50 cents it sold for 17.54 it is made in china so this one's about a 13 dollar profit and it sold really fast now breakables like mugs i'm okay if they're selling at 15 dollars because these aren't that hard to pack and that was a really fast sale and then this little jester mardi gras guy and he actually is signed i didn't notice until just now but i did look up this artist name and i can't find him so hopefully i didn't miss something really valuable this jester i paid a dollar he sold for 1104 so he is about an eight dollar profit next is a bad buy on a throw but most of these i do well with so this one's buckeye technologies most of these i buy folded up and it's kind of like a guessing game on what's inside i don't like to open them in the thrift store when they have them all folded nice and taped up this one only brought ten dollars i paid five so it's only about a two dollar profit and it sold in about eight months up next is some franciscan apple little teacups it is a set of two they sold for 1022 they did take about a year and a half to sell so it took a long time only a couple dollars in because i bought a big set those are about a seven dollar profit and another thing again not really worth listing with the amount of work on packing that but as far as franciscan apple keep an eye out for this pattern because your bigger serving pieces and cookie jars sell for really good money still next is a cribbage board really cool vintage piece i thought it would be worth more this one only sold for 1104 but i paid less than a dollar so it's about a nine dollar profit and that'll be easy to ship and it's sold in about two months up next is a really good sale if you watch my other youtube channel catch treasure hunting you will see that i found these not very long ago only a couple weeks these are left in bone china and they are little nursery rhyme figurines so this one has the little girl the kitty cat and a little london sign so i actually had those leftins priced at 32 dollars but somebody kept asking me questions and I'm like, maybe I didn't do enough research. And they sent me an offer 28 and I was like, I'm not accepting $4 lower when it's been listed only a few hours. So I went and researched and I actually found on Worth Point, most of them have sold around the $50 mark and the ones that I found, none are listed. So I bumped the price up to $65. That one sold in under two hours for $64.99. I actually picked up all five for only $30 at my little local flea market. And again, I do have a video of that on Catch Treasure Hunting. But thanks to Worth Point and using it to research, I was able to price them up higher. And the eBay user questioning and questioning me 
is what kind of kicked me into like maybe you should research these more so i have a link to worth point down in my links and that is a monthly service but they keep 10 years history so that way if some of this stuff is rare that you are finding and there are none on ebay you can use that as a further reference point all right up next is another piece of harley clothing from that garage sale this is a hoodie i paid around ten dollars for this one really cool striped sleeves on this one this one sold for 26.25 so it's about a ten dollar profit but it sold in under a week okay parental advisory there's getting ready to be some stuff that if you have little ones maybe close their eyes for a minute this is the biggest sale of the weekend this is a there are boobies see there are boobies so don't yeah anyway picasso this is from a picasso a picasso exhibition where his work was exhibited this is from 1962 i only paid 20 dollars for this poster and it sold for 375 dollars this is over a 300 dollar profit but it did take about a year to sell up next is this Detroit Lions bobblehead. It is the last one. I have made over a thousand dollars on bobbleheads. This little guy I paid twenty dollars for. He sold for eighty, so he's about a fifty dollar profit, and he sold in three months. The rest of them sold pretty fast. All right, up next is something I think a lot of you might just like toss to the side. This is just a little plastic nativity scene and it does have where it could be hung on the wall. So I listed it as a dollhouse nativity scene and this one sold for $12 in under two months and I paid less than a dollar. So it's actually about a $9 profit. Next is a Harley Davidson pen. This one here with the eagle and the wing. This one sold in about five months for $15.58. I paid a dollar, so this one's about a $12 profit. It does have the official Harley Davidson license there on the back, and that one's actually going international. Up next is a brooch, and this is a pretty good brooch sale. I actually, I had a Joan Rivers brooch last night on my Whatnot sale, and it didn't go for much so this Joan Rivers bow and you can see it is marked Joan Rivers there this bow sold for $50 so Joan Rivers is a good name in jewelry some of her pieces sell for hundreds I paid five dollars for this and it's going to be about a forty dollar profit up next is a dog coat so this is Beverly Hills Polo Club. It is a little puppy dog puffer jacket. I only paid a dollar at the thrift store. This one sold for $12.99, so it's about a $9 profit, and it sold in about three months. It is like a little bumblebee pattern on there. Up next is a handkerchief that sold in under a week. This was just listed. It is a 1969 calendar hanky with all the flowers. Paid less than a dollar. This one sold for $11.69 in under a week, and it's going to be about a $10 profit. Up next is another item I found on my catch treasure hunting. I got this at garage sale for $3. This is a Lily Bloom really cute little Easter purse. I paid three. It's been listed less than a month and it sold for $16.24. So it's about a $10 profit. Up next is a piece of fabric that sold in two days. It is this little brown floral. Now it does have the name on the bottom here and the name is Cranston VIP. I know it can be hard to read. So this piece of fabric, I actually paid less than a dollar in a lot with some handkerchiefs. It sold for $9.74 in under a week, and it's about an $8 profit. Up next is a Louis, Louisiana Superdome. This glass is a tumbler, and it's from the grand opening in 1975. This one sold for $25. I actually only paid a dollar, so this one's close to a $20 profit. So this is a good example of something I am okay with breakable shipping if it sells for around that $20, $25 mark. All right, up next is actually a loss. This is a Duck Commander collection, brand new. I bought it for five at a yard sale because I saw this $69.99 price tag. I did not research it and it only sold for $6.49 and honestly I'm lucky it sold at all. So this one's actually going to be about a dollar loss. It did sell fast at least. 
these baby clothes sold for ten dollars it's just a little vintage sweater and they do have wear but they are pretty old and I paid less than a dollar in a lot. There are some little booties, a shirt, and a sweater. They're going to be about a $7 profit. Now, there are some vintage and antique baby clothes that can sell for a lot. So, if they have tags, which this one does, but I can't read it. So, some of these can be really, really valuable. So, if you see a lot of older baby clothes, definitely check those out. Up next is some Longaburger garters. So these just go around the top edge of the basket. They got a set of three of these floral and this one patriotic one. Altogether, this was a $23 sale. I'm about $4 in, so they're about a $15 profit, and they sold in about four months. Next is a little Minnie Mouse ornament. She is still new in the box. I paid a dollar for her. She sold for $19.49. So she's about a $14 profit and she sold in about a month. Up next is another item I found garage sailing when I was doing catch treasure hunting. This is a Walt Disney World blue patch. It has not been used and this one sold for $15.58. I actually only paid a quarter so this one's about a $13 profit. Next, these took three years to sell. They are empty Canon cartridges. So they sold for $5.84. I got those cartridges in a pallet with a ton of new ink that made me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But a lot of the ink was used, so I lotted those up. Some of the empty cartridges sold for quite a bit more. These were less desirable. So it's about a $3 profit. They took forever, but again, that goes to kind of deciding if in these lots if I should have just tossed these empty cartridges or do I want to list them and get every penny I can out of the lot so that's something I'm kind of having to go through and decide what I want to do with the items in lots that don't sell for much all right up next is a pretty good sale this is a Waterford Dolphins. You can see there are two dolphins with the water splashing. I knew this one was Waterford because it still has its seahorse sticker. There probably is a little seahorse engraved somewhere on this statue as well. This one I paid at 15. It sold for 138. So it's about a $90 profit after fees. Did take about a year and a half to sell. Up next is this little owl, really cute with Kansas. It says wall hanger Japan. This one could be a spoon rest or a wall hanging. We will wipe it out. This one I paid a dollar. It sold for $16.24. So it's about a $13 profit. And this one sold in about a month. And then this little charm bracelet. It's got all kinds of little dangly charms on it. This one sold for $27.62. I paid five, so this one's about an $18 profit. And then a DVD. This is a Florida Gators Championship game replay. This one I paid less than 50 cents. It sold for $4.52, so it's about a $3 profit. And this one took over a year to sell. Up next is some ephemera. If you don't know, ephemera is typically paper items that are meant to be thrown away. This is an old General Lewis Hotel pamphlet. Pretty cool. This one took about two years to sell though. It sold for $6.81. I am less than a dollar in, so it's about a $5 profit. And then another license plate. This license plate is Indiana 1958. You can see quite a bit of rust. So again, even with where these will sell, this one sold for 17. So it's about a $14 profit. And then a Swarovski star. So I actually still have three of these left. I paid about $40. This one sold for $150. So it's about a $90 profit. Did take a little bit longer than I thought to sell. Normally my Swarovski ornaments move fast, but I had this price high. I think that's why it took a little longer, but it is still a great profit. And it did sell in about six to eight months. All right, up next, another license plate. This big long one is actually from Germany. This one I paid the dollar and this one sold for 25. So it's about a $20 profit. Up next, this is a really cool vase. It is a swung vase. You can tell by like the dripping. So they would hang these upside down. So no two are the same. And this one has a face in it. This one I paid 30. It sold for $90.99. So it's about a $45 profit. 
up next is a pair of camo pants these i paid a dollar they sold for 9.55 so they are about a seven dollar profit they took about eight months to sell and last on ebay is this really cool harley pin this one actually sold for 60 dollars really nice you can see the official and this is a really really good sale and about a 45 dollar profit all right, now I will show you on the other platforms. And again, we do use List Perfectly to cross post. You can get 30% off with my code. Cross posting is a good goal for the new year. And we made about 20,000 last year from the other platforms. So this is some Ralph Lauren polo khakis. These sold over on Poshmark for $9. I paid a dollar, so they're about a $7 profit. So over on Etsy, this Wallace Silversmith, this is actually a silver sleigh bell. I'm having to take it out of tons of boxes to be able to show you. So it's a big sleigh bell. It's got 1996 on it. And this one sold for 35 on Etsy. I paid five. So this one's about a $25 profit and it sold in about six months. That's kind of a weak, a weak ring. I gotta put it back in all the things. So this one was in the little bag and inside of a box. Also on Etsy for almost $50, this is a Grim Reaper. This is a Kurt Sadler ornament. This one sold for $45. I only paid a dollar. So this one's about a $40 profit. All right, last is on Mercari. We sold this license plate. 1991 North Carolina commercial. This one sold for 12. So it's about a $9 profit and it sold in about three months. Well, overall, close to $2,400 going out over the four day weekend. Hopefully we will continue to see our sales grow. Coming up next week, I will be on vacation, but Lynn will be here working full time as well as we have somebody staying at the house taking care of the animals. So eBay will continue running next week and we will be on vacation though. So I have already recorded some videos for you next week. I'm going to give you my top five tips for increasing your sales this year as well as show you all of the high dollar items that I've sold in the last month. So I hope you enjoy those next week. I hope you're having a great year. We will see you on the next Bye. one. Come on. Bye. Tell them Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Give them a blow kiss. No? Okay. <laughs>